The OWC Envoy Ultra is one of the fastest SSDs on the market today. It uses Thunderbolt 5 and is supposed to provide speeds all the way up to 6,000 megabytes a second on the read and the write. I wasn't quite able to hit those speeds though. So in this video, we're gonna test the speeds of this and talk about the features of this, who I think this is for and who I think should look for a different drive instead. I do wanna say this video is not sponsored. I paid for this drive with my own money. The Envoy Ultra does use Thunderbolt 5, but it's also backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. But if you wanna get the top speeds on this, you will need to be using this with a newer Thunderbolt 5 device. Like Macs that have the M4 Pro or the M4 Max chip will support those Thunderbolt 5 speeds. With my tests on this, I was getting 5100 megabytes a second on the read and the write. Using this with my Mac Studio, and whenever I use this with a Thunderbolt 4 computer like a MacBook Air, I was getting 3000 megabytes a second on the read and the write, which is the top speed that you can expect with those Thunderbolt 4 ports. The main reason to pick a Thunderbolt 5 drive is to match or exceed your internal storage performance on your Mac for running applications or for editing high resolution game libraries off of it, or also just to get faster file transfers if you're using tons of large video files or other project files that take up a lot of space. This would also be an excellent option as a home folder for an M4 Pro Mac Mini. If you bought one of the smaller storage options and you find that you're using it for a lot of pro grade work, you could easily run applications or run all of your files off of this. I was able to move 360 gigabytes of files to the Envoy Ultra in about three minutes. And after testing this even all day long, I didn't have any issues with it throttling or slowing down. It definitely got warm to the touch, but it's got this all aluminum design and it's got these ridges on it that do a great job at helping it dissipate the heat. One thing that initially bothered me about the Envoy Ultra is the fact that the cable is actually built in, but it's also not built in. So you can actually remove the casing just by taking these rubber pads off. You could swap an SSD in this, although I don't think that's the reason you buy this SSD, but the cable is interchangeable and you can contact OWC and you can always get a new cable if you want. The reason it has this integrated cable is because this allows it to be fully Thunderbolt certified for both the speeds and performance, as well as also for IP67, dustproof and waterproof and crush proof ratings. If this had a detachable cable, it would limit the durability of it a little bit more. So that's why OWC says they went with the built-in cable, but the built-in cable still definitely gets on my nerves because it's pretty short, so it's fine for working off a laptop. You can put it on your Mac Studio, put it on your Mac Mini, and kind of put it to the side or put it to the top, but you're gonna have to reach around to the back of your computer to plug this in to get those fastest speeds every time. So you can't just have a random Thunderbolt 5 cable that's longer laying around that you plug this into. So that's definitely a major drawback to the Envoy Ultra, and one of the reasons I was hesitant to pick this up originally. Also, whenever you store this, you will need to be careful. It's got reinforcement around the edge of it, but I will say, I'm not sure if this is the drive I would be buying to throw in the back of my backpack over and over and over again, unless I had some way to keep this a little bit more secure and where it's not banging up against other things due to that built-in cable. Now, for what it's worth, OWC has said that they have barely anyone contact them about getting a new cable for it. They're supposed to be really durable. And I love built-in cables because I think they're really handy. But when we're talking for data and data security, the built-in cable definitely raises an eyebrow a little bit, and that may be one of the reasons you want to get the OWC Express 1M2 ADG instead. If you're interested in either of these drives and also my favorite NVMEs, I'll have links for all of those in the description below and also popping up on the screen. This drive also has that aluminum feel to it, but this one's even bigger. It has more of a heat sink looking design. This one actually was getting even faster speeds than the Envoy Ultra. I was hitting all the way up to 6,000 megabytes a second on the read and the write on this. Well, I used the Samsung 9100 Pro in it. With my WD Black 850X, I was getting about 5600 to 5800 megabytes a second on the read and the write. This one's also super reliable, and you can get this either pre-configured with an SSD in it, or you can put your own in it. So you have a little bit more flexibility with the 1M2 80G due to the detachable cable, and the fact that you can buy this empty. So if you wanna upgrade it or just put any drive of your choosing in it, you don't have to start with an enclosure that already has an SSD in it and waste the built-in SSD. So there's definitely some major advantages to the 1M280G, although this one's not Thunderbolt certified and they don't put out any sort of durability ratings for it. So with the Envoy Ultra, you do get that IP67 durability rating, but I will say this one seems like it's stored in a backpack a little bit better due to the fact that the cable is detachable from it. The OWC Envoy Ultra retails for $400 if you get the two terabyte version or $600 for the four terabyte version. With the 1M2, this one starts at about $220 to just get the enclosure. So if you wanna build your own four terabyte version of this, you can do that for between four and $500. 
or if you get it already configured with the OWC Aura NVMe in it, the four terabyte version of this is $700. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the Envoy Ultra. So if you're not afraid of building it yourself and not having that Thunderbolt certification, the OWC 1M2 80G is maybe a better option for you than the Envoy Ultra due to the detachable cable and the better value this represents as well. But the Envoy Ultra is still an amazing drive that has that full Thunderbolt 5 certification better durability ratings, and you just know exactly what you're gonna get with it because it only includes the OWC SSD on it. So you have guaranteed performance with this, and you also get a five-year warranty with the Envoy Ultra versus a two-year warranty on the Express 1M2. So overall, the OWC Envoy Ultra has been a great SSD for me. I've loved using it with my Mac Studio. It also works great with MacBook Pro and MacBook Air computers. I wouldn't necessarily recommend picking this up just if you wanna use it with the Thunderbolt 4 device. You really need to make sure that your computer has Thunderbolt 5 if you wanna take advantage of those top possible speeds on this. Overall, this is a great option for anyone who's looking for a fast, durable, and reliable Thunderbolt 5 SSD. If you're interested in buying the OWC Envoy Ultra, I'll have links to buy in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.